Hey guys, it's May May and oh my goodness. Oh, and Vinny. <laughs> that is so thoughtful of you. Thank you for recognizing that little old me is here. I can't help it. Look what's here. I'm so excited. For those of you who don't know, I know this is a crafting channel, so this is kind of crazy, but here's the deal. In YouTube world, as a YouTube creator, when your channel is subscribed to by over 100,000 subscribers, you get what's called a silver play button. And when I started my channel, I never, ever imagined that I would have enough supply subscribers to get one of these. I never imagined it. And it's an exciting day for me too, because here's the deal. My little son, Joe, who is 13, who's not little anymore, has told me for the longest time that until I have a play button, I'm not a real YouTuber. <laughs> so now I'm a real YouTuber, Vince. It's amazing. So this just came in and I wanted to open it with you guys. I have not looked at it. I wouldn't even, nope, nobody has seen it. I wouldn't let anybody look because I wanted you guys, my faithful live viewer watchers, to see this get opened, right? I was like, you guys are gonna see it. So here's the deal. We do have a craft, do not worry. I have a cute craft for 4th of July coming up, but I wanted to share this with you. Oh, a love button would be cute. I wish they did have that. All right, are y'all ready? Cause I'm nervous. I'm nervous, cause I'm nervous to open it. Go ahead and open it, you deserve it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna open it right now. It's such a big deal. It's like, it's like a trophy or something. I don't know, what's it like? It's. It's a very proud moment. I want to keep that. For this other I'm probably going to upcycle that YouTube box. <laughs> so, okay, here's a letter, and it says, You've just done something very few YouTube creators accomplished. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel was touched by what you did. They were inspired or challenged or entertained. You made it to this milestone with hard work and perseverance, and chances are a healthy sense of humor. <laughs> what you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with this silver play button, a small token of our esteem and respect. Are we both crying? <laughs> it's so silly. We know you don't do this for rewards. That's the truth. You do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you. Congratulations from Susan Wajiki. I can't say her name right. Somebody can tell me. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm literally crying. <laughs> That's silly to be that excited about it, I think. It's just a thing, right? Keep me in check, Mr. Helms. I'm very proud of you. Here it is. I'm going to let y'all see it first. Oh, you saw it first. <laughs> How exciting is this? I'm so excited. Oh, and they spelled my name right. <laughs> Thank God I was worried. It says here, May May made it. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Look at that. I'm so happy. If you've ever wondered what this, what the play button is, this is the play button. I know my camera's shining in it. But this is the silver play button. They have a million one, and then they have the million one is gold, and then they have a diamond one now for people who have ten thousand. I mean, uh, ten million subscribers, and lots of people have earned that. Isn't that amazing? It's heavy. It's so pretty. So when you come to visit me, it'll be hanging in the front. You'll be able to see it when you come to visit the store. All right. Thank you guys for letting me do that today and open that with you guys. I'm gonna get onto the um, get onto the to the craft making, but I wanted you guys to be a part of this. I'm so excited, but I'm scared it's going to get broken. Where can we, I'm going to put it back in here until we hang it. That's what I'll do. Okay. So I'll close it back up until we hang it and put my letter back in there. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. You know, it, se it probably seems like it's just clicking a button, but to those of us who do this and we, we want to do this for you guys, can you put it behind your computer right there? For those of us who do this, like, and Melody's on here and... Any other YouTube creator that's watching this, it means the world to us that you watch us, that you're interested and that we have this family with you. And the numbers don't mean as much to me as the people. They really don't. But it's amazing to think that you guys are, are a part of this with us. And so we just appreciate you. And listen, Melody's only 30,000 away. Please go subscribe to Melody Lane. Please go subscribe to her and let her get to feel what this is like because it's amazing. You'll love her channel. You'll love it. There's something for everyone something for everyone okay we have a lot to do today okay we have um a craft to make together we also have 
a lot of across the mile stuff that you're gonna love. We also have, what else do we have? Oh, we have some new product. We have a lot today. So, um, okay, I just got a message from Thomas, but everything's cool. So we're gonna be making rosette stars. You know I had to do it, right? You know I had to figure this out. If you've been on my channel for so long, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I couldn't do it without including, um, people on the chat are telling me thanks for including them. I would definitely include you guys. You're the reason. So, okay. So, we're making these. You know I love rosettes, right? And I saw when I was, I can't remember where I was shopping. I told you guys I get a lot of ideas when I'm shopping, but there was um, a project like what I'm going to show you all the way at the end of this that we're going to put together like this. And I thought, I wonder if we could, um, make rosette stars. We've made leaves and we've made angels and we've made crosses and we've made poinsettias and you name it. So I figured out stars and I'm giving you three sizes. Okay. The dimensions are going to be on our blog post. You're going to have to be patient about the blog post because once this video is finished, we put it over there onto the blog post so you can have all those measurements, but it takes a minute. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to assemble this one for you today because it's easier to see because it's larger. But I'm going to show you how to assemble these. But to save time, I'm not going to actually assemble these. I'm going to assemble the bigger part. Anyway, we're just going to get started. All right. So what you're going to need for e for the stars is this. For the big star, you're going to use a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Okay. And you're going to need a scoreboard or a ruler and a scoring tool or whatever you have that can make score marks or you can just fold this, okay? Now I'm gonna put this, I'm actually gonna flip this over because I wanna show you something. I'm using Christmas paper, why? Because I like this side, and I'm only gonna see this side when I get it finished, so I'm not worried that it's Christmas paper. Nobody's gonna look at the back of it. Y'all know my rule, if they do, they don't get invitation next time. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay, so with your scoring tool, the 12 by 12 piece of paper, this is for the big star. Okay, you're going to score it every half an inch. Go ahead and do this before you cut your paper apart. If you do what I'm showing you from start to finish, it'll make your life easier. Because I tried to do this the other way, which was doing a strip and a strip and a strip. And I ended up scoring forever. Okay, so do it like this. Score the whole sheet. All right. And that's half an inch going like this. When you finish that, I want you to turn it one time into your scoreboard, okay? So now all those score marks you made at half inch are going this way. Are you okay, Vinny, they're asking? I'm all right. <laughs> so all these score marks are going this way, okay? Then I want you to score in three places. Ready? I want you to score at one and a half inch. Then I want you to score at five and a half inches. And then I want you to score at, I can't remember it, let me look at my cheat sheet, nine and a half inches, okay? All this will make sense in a minute. This is super easy if you do it this way okay so all this way and then this way now what I've done to make this easier because I know with busy cardstock it's hard for you guys to see what I'm doing so before the show I made this to help us out this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper my first set of score marks are all these going this way at half inch okay I turned it one time and I scored it one and a half my trusty sidekick they love you I scored it at five and a half, and then I scored it at nine and a half. So does this make sense? See it? That makes sense? Okay, this is what I did to this piece of paper, but I know you can't really see those score marks, but that's what I did. Now what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna cut this one so you can see what's happening, then I'm gonna cut the other one, okay? So here we go. Let me get my paper trimmer. So we've done all the scoring we have to do. Now we're just gonna do some trimming and this will make life easier. Okay, so on these guys, we're gonna cut, um, I forget what my cut mark is. I gotta double check, I think it's four. Did I tell Tamitha? Let me check real quick because I don't wanna tell you guys wrong. So if you've got all your scoring done and you make this cut, yes, okay. Yeah, thank you, Tam. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, so if we score this at four, I mean, if we cut this at four inches, there's one that we need. We come out here, cut it at four. There's one that we need, and there's one that we need. So this is why we did all the scoring all on one piece of paper, because now I don't have to go back and score each one of these individually, okay? Now we just need to turn this into what we want it to be to be stars. 
So I think this makes sense why I did that. I wanted you to see how that worked, okay? So now I'm gonna go back to my other piece because I think now it makes sense with you looking. Actually, before I go back to my other piece, let me show you this. For this medium sized star, okay? Which is, how big is this one? The one I'm doing right now ends up being seven and three fourths of an inch. This one ends up being just at six, close to six. So when you score that paper, it's gonna look like this, okay? All these dimensions will be on the blog, all right? So you'll score it like this and then you'll cut it where I tell you to cut it. And for the little one, which ends up being four inches, you're gonna cut um, a paper like this and score it like this, okay? It'll all make sense when you get over to the blog measurements. All right, let me cut. Is anybody lost? I don't want anybody lost. I know I just gave you a lot of information, but while I'm cutting this down into four inch strips, oh, let me tell you this. Hmm, I needed to tell you this. When you cut this into four inch pieces, you want to make sure that the score line that is one and a half, that one and a half score line or the smallest score line is on this end of the page, okay? Because we're cutting a four inch strip. Let me show you what I mean with my strips. I'm cutting a four inch strip. Oh, this is not the right one. That's the two. Hold on. Let me get my paper. I'm cutting the four inch strip away and I need my length out here and my shortness in here. Okay, so when you put this into your trimmer, make sure you're cutting four inch pieces that look like this. So the next one's gonna look the same way, okay? When I cut it, it's gonna look just like this because I'm using the shorter end, okay? And then I'm gonna do this one and I'll get the same thing. I think I've made that clear as mud. I think I did. Anybody saying they don't get it? Nope. Okay, now then. This is going to end up being, we need five points, okay? You're gonna get two points from this sheet, two points from this sheet, and we only need half of this one. Now, the reason I didn't just cut these strips out like I showed you and then cut this away and all that kind of stuff is because I don't want to do all that scoring. So I'm just gonna lose one piece of this, but technically I'm not, because if you're making two of these, you can still use this. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna cut this at six inches because I only need one of these. So we're basically gonna make a petal of the star. This one I'm gonna put aside for later. I hope that makes sense because you need five. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, let's build it. Here you go. So with this guy, okay, the reason we did the score mark, I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on the marked one first because I want you to really see what I'm doing. So with this guy right here, the first thing I'm gonna do is fold it in half. So I've already got all these score marks and it'll go to the half when I just do this. It'll get to the place I want it to be. There's my half, okay? So now I'm looking at one star. I'm gonna call them petals. I don't know, points. What do you call it? I'm not sure. I'm looking at one star point and one star point, okay? Now what I wanna do is find the center of it. Again, it will do it for you because you have all of these um, score marks. We need to know where the center and this score line is. I'll show you why. So here's my center score mark, which you can mark it if you need to. If you need to make a pencil mark, you can do that, okay? I'm gonna open this up. So from my center score line, and you're probably thinking, why do we have this score line? This is why. We're gonna line up the center, which is going to be the one, two, three, four, five, sixth point, because this is 12, right? So it's the sixth one, the middle one. I'm gonna line up that one with the score line here, okay? So then I'm going to slice, take this away, all right? I'm gonna turn it, and from that same center point, don't worry, we have to do this several times, you'll understand it. I'm going to then slice this away, okay? So let me show you, look right here. That's what we're making. Okay, I think by seeing it like this, it'll help. So now I'm gonna do it on one of these pieces. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to fold it in half and let it find the middle for me because I've already done all the scoring, okay? Um, let me clarify something real quick. The blog post does not go up until the video is completed, so that's why you can't find it now. All right, so I've got it folded in half. Now I'm gonna fold it in half one more time just to find my center, which is here, okay? I'm gonna go to my board. This is my center score mark. So center score, and then that bottom score mark that we made down here. So center score, and then my bottom score mark. Oop, I got it upside down. Glad I checked, you'd have to know. All right, center score, 
bottom score right there and then slice. Now you don't have to do this with a paper trimmer. Watch this. You can take these scissors, line them up at this point and then cut to the score mark right there. So I'm still getting this shape, okay? If you get lost, you'll be, it, it, you know, you have to, this is one of those projects you have to think it through all the way to the end before you do it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you doing this without using your trimmer. I always like to show you guys different ways, right? So let's take this big piece again. We'll fold it in half, okay? Fold it in half again just to find my center. And if your scissors are strong enough, you could probably do this all at one time, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. So there's my center line. Here's my bottom score line. I'm gonna to slice to that center, okay? And slice to the center. Now let me tell you something. You guys probably think these rosettes have to be extremely precise. That's not the case. I discovered yesterday that whenever I was making mistakes in my prototype, you didn't see them. So they do not have to be extremely precise. So do not panic. So that's how you get your first two. I mean, your this is your four points of the star. Your fifth one is just a single one, okay? So we're only gonna fold it in half one time, like so, okay? I'm gonna go from my score mark here to the point there and slice. If you needed to, you could just cut all of them like this and do that. But for me, I like to kind of keep everything together that I can keep together. Make sense? Hope it does. I will put photos of all of this, okay? So you can be able to see all the stuff I've got finished. That's another reason the blog post will be late. I can't do the blog post till I have these to take photos of. So you gotta bear with me, okay? This looks like a really bad bikini. Someone did say it had a, kind of a bikini look to it. Oh, really? That's funny. All right, so let's do questions while I fold. The way I'm gonna fold is I'm gonna start with the first one and go away from me. This is the front of my star. I'm gonna go away from me. And you scored it at a half inch, right? Every half inch. You do that in the beginning. You got it. If you start with how I showed you, life will be easy. Look right here. I missed a score mark, but I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to lay it on my table and just make it happen. It's going to happen. That stuff happens. Why? Because we're humans. We ain't perfect. If we were robots, we could be perfect as long as some human told us exactly how to do it right. So there's the first one. Okay. That's the single. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna start with this one, fold it back, and accordion. This means I'm gonna run into that same missed score mark on every one because I did this all in one sheet. But the reason I couldn't see it is because this dude is polka dots. <laughs> it was blending in. All right. All right, is everybody with us? I was worried about this, but I want you to get to do it because it is a cute project when it's finished. Super cute. See how I'm doing them like this? This is so easy, right? Okay, this is three. Now I'm gonna do this one, same way. First one goes away from me. What is it? Amanda Ray said she was thinking of Madonna in that, the 80s. That broad looking thing, that uh, point, yeah, I know, I agree with you, I agree. Don't worry about keeping up. Material girl. Don't try to keep up. This is one of those, let me tell you about this project. This is one of those projects that the first one you make, you need to be in your craft room. You need to be cool and calm. You need to be thinking about what you're doing. This is one of those projects. This is not one where you can just sit down and kind of just go with it because there's a little bit of, you know, ciphering. But it's one of those projects that when you're done, you're you gonna love it. Say ciphering. Oh, I say ciphering all the time. Okay, so here's what we've got. Now we're gonna stick these guys together. I'm using sticky tape today mostly because I haven't used it in a while. People are asking me if I've stopped loving it. No, I love it. So <laughs> I'm gonna put some sticky tape on this end and this end, okay? I'm using the eight mil. It's a brand new roll because I was out of my other one. That's probably another reason I wouldn't use it because I didn't have any in here. So just being lazy, I'm gonna lay this down on here. Oh, I forget how sticky this stuff is. Like so. And I'm gonna use a little acrylic block and just slice that away. Just like that. And you can put your adhesive on before you score it. It doesn't matter. You do what makes you happy. You do what makes you happy. Okay, so there's that. And then I need to glue this one together. So I'm gonna open that out a little bit. Add me some sticky tape on here. Tear this away. Okay, so pokey tool. Where did you go? I think I put it away. 
what craft room? Amen, sister. I didn't have a craft room for many, many years. My craft room was the kitchen table or the bedroom floor or the living room floor in front of the TV or where else? The car. <laughs> Wherever I Every felt place, like it. there was a flat surface. <laughs> I crafted everywhere. Everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and expose all of the adhesive here. Just like so. And here. So if you notice where I put the adhesive, I only had to put it on two sides of the single and one side of the others because we're just going to make one big long rosette out of this. Now I always have to do this for you guys to see it on camera, but it's super easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to hold this like this with the adhesive sticking up. I'm going to take my other piece and glue it to it. Glue it to it. Nothing to it. You can do it. Glue it to it. And then, because I get this messiness here, I'm just going to go ahead and put that back into the rosette shape and let it go for a second. All right, ready for this? Same thing. This time I'll hold it this way. Got that piece of, um, exposed. Make sure your points are going in the same direction. Okay. Put this one on here. Is my glue gun plugged up? It is. Is my glue gun? That's what I called it. My glue gun. And then lastly, I'm gonna pick this together like so. And we've made this big circle. Go ahead and fold those back like they're supposed to be. And we're good. So we got a big circle with a bunch of points. Looks like a crown. All right, now we need a base to glue it to. Every single time I make one of these projects, I get asked, can I use a glue dot? And normally I say yes, but I, uh, I believe that no, you need to use hot glue. I really do. I think in, in my experience, I have tried making rosettes with a glue dot. And if you get super lucky and land right where you're supposed to land, you're fine. But for me, I just punch out a circle that's plenty big enough. This is a two inch scallop. Okay. And then what I like to do is go ahead and get this started and even lay it down one time in the shape of the star before I glue it. Because if I have any issues, if anything comes undone, see how that's doing? I don't want this to be when I'm trying to go over, over the top of that hot glue. Go ahead and do a test, okay? So there's the star, right? Even if I just slide this over here in a minute, which I can do, I keep this right here like this, okay? I'm gonna put a good dollop of hot glue in the middle a good dollop. You see it? It's not perfectly in the middle, but it'll work. I'm going to bring this guy over, keeping it together as much as I can, and get it into that hot glue. Okay? Do not put your finger over the center of this guy. That hot glue will feed up through there. What you do want to do is just check this. Because this is a star, we want to make sure this top portion is fairly straight. Okay? The bottom will work itself out. So I'm gonna hold this here and let this dry. My glue gun is hot as blue blazes, so this I'm gonna have to hold for a second. All right, so I'm just gonna hold it for a minute. And we're going to assemble the, um, the finished project. Remember, I told you this is gonna be like for your uh, centerpiece we're making for a table, for like a, um, what's the word? Fourth of July table. So I'm gonna hold this guy. If I let go too soon, it'll start to lift, okay? But since this is holding good, the next thing I like to do is fill this center hole with hot glue. Not too much, because you don't want it to really bubble out everywhere. But I like to fill that center hole and then just hold it nice and flat until it starts to cool. Sound good? Oh yeah. If you're not comfortable with a glue gun, please practice your glue gun using. Using. I'm just gonna write my own language. I think, you know, it'd be appropriate. <laughs> Just not gonna even worry about using some <laughs> what you know, what language? Really, I don't. I know we were country before we moved to Chilton County, we're but so it just seems worse. like it's gotten a lot worse. We are so much close. We are so much worse. Okay, so now then, sometimes I it's still a little wet in there. See that it's still kind of whatever. So I'm just gonna blow on it now. This is where I'm going to turn this into home decor. Yay! You guys love home decor pieces. Now I just want you to grab out your aquarium gravel <laughs> and your clear plastic cups because everybody has these, right? Just laying around. Not just Southern girls. This is not just a staple we keep, right? 
Well, you know, technically, we did go to the store and buy all this yesterday. I did buy this. I went to Walmart. We you didn't guys have know. It just laying around. You guys know that um, I am a Walmart user, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use one of these little clear plastic cups. Why? Because I'm gonna put this on my 4th of July table, but afterwards I can either toss these in the trash, which nobody wants to do because we don't like to spend money and do that. So listen to this. I can pour this out later and turn this into another craft. There's 50 million crafts for these guys, okay? So I bought some of those and this gravel. Now, ideally, I wanted like some red or some blue gravel and they didn't have it. And then I thought, if I want to save money, it's smart to buy this rock colored one because after the fourth is over, I can pour this back into a Ziploc bag, put it where I keep my decorator stuff. And when I need some weight, I've got it and it, it'll match any project. How amazing. Yeah. Which I do that. Like, you might think I'm crazy, but I actually I have, do. I know, I actually have a box, I mean, a bag full of rocks. They're river rocks that I bought over time from, like, the Dollar Tree. And I don't get rid of them because whenever I decorate, I use them over and over again. Like, if I want to put rocks in a tray for a centerpiece or something, I use that stuff over and over again. So, I'm sure the Dollar Tree does have it. Go to your Dollar Tree. You guys know I've kind of, I've kind of given up on my Dollar Tree here, so I rarely go in there. We even went in recently, Amanda and I went in for something. I can't remember what it was. For some project we were doing here, and I was just like, I'm just not gonna go there. It just, there is nothing in mine. It's just a sad little, it's just cause we live in a little tiny town, I'm sure. But I find more at my Dollar General lately. So that's just me. All right, I'm gonna put a little tape on there so this doesn't spill out everywhere cause I don't wanna clean that. Then I'm gonna sit this aside. Now this is nice and heavy. I wanna show you, it looks really cool too. See this? Very cool, right? All right, so put the little rocks to the side. That's just going to be what stands up our little centerpiece piece. <laughs> Betty asked if you got a tent at Walmart. We have all kinds of stuff at our Walmart. All right, you have options. Please, please know you have options. Whatever you know is comfortable, do it, okay? Um, here's this deal. These are those little skewers. The little, these are actually cooking skewers, okay? So you can use a cooking skewer or, y'all like how I call them cooking skewers? Or I have a ton of these in my craft room. These little dowel, dowel rods that are like 12 inches, I think, I use these for everything. So I have a, I buy them and keep them because I always find a way to use them. By the way, do you want to hear a great way to use them? If you buy those um, prefab bookshelves like we do, like the black ones or the brown ones you get at Walmart, if you lose that little piece that holds your bookshelf, these are just the right size. You just cut them off, put them in there, and they hold your bookshelf. Because I've had to do it. Quite a few times. Quite a few times, yeah. We All right. Have what? A bull in the china shop. We have shop. a bull in the china shop that makes those things for us. Okay, so I'm going to glue this here. Okay, so what I want to do is find the center point of the bottom of my star. Okay, and I'm going to glue this right here. So, yeah, Mel's been making a lot of that. Melody said good tips. She's been making a lot of that kind of furniture with shelving. And even when you have to have it to put between, you know, if you've ever made that kind of furniture, you know what I'm talking about. So, I put some glue on it. I'm going to put it between these two stars and just slide that there. And I'm going to let that dry. And did I just put my finger in the hot glue? Yes. But I'm not crying about it. I cried about my button. I ain't crying about that hot glue. You know why? Because my fingers are like, we're so used to it. Mm. <laughs> Any questions so far? Everybody's just kind of going along with us. Just having a fun day? You know, lots of comments about burning people with glue. It's a common thing. People get burned with glue. You should ask my mom. She has quite the hot glue stories. Apparently Dollar Tree is, you know, pretty... Doesn't do much in these small towns. It's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. And really sad if I go to some of the bigger towns around us, they have amazing stuff. But our Dollar Tree just makes me sad. Now I find cool stuff in there, but not like... Um, now look, this is the cutest fairy wand, okay? You can finish this out and make this a fairy wand for like your niece, Lydia, who absolutely thinks she's a fairy anyway. Perfect for that, but we're going to keep she going. She's a fairy or a, a princess. princess. I'm sorry, it's a princess wand. But we're going to keep going. So this is the medium star that you're going to get the measurements for once the blog post goes live, okay? This is the medium star. I'm going to put it on. And when I did this yesterday, I thought it was really cute like that. But you don't have to do it like that. You could do it like this too and center it. It's going to be an inch smaller when you finish it. It's going to be just enough to kind of nestle down in there. I kind of like it like that looking at it on camera. It's very star looking in it. So what I'm going to do is take the big one and this one. This is one I made yesterday. And I'm going to glue them together. Okay. 
just like so. You can do so much. If you just make these stars and make yourself some star bunting, how cute would that be around your like 4th of July table or something like that? I think it'd be super cute. So I'm gonna hold that there. Now, anytime you add hot glue to other hot glue, it loosens a little bit. So I'm gonna keep my hand here because that heat will kind of loosen that other hot glue up. Any other questions? No, no, no. Um, okay. Finally catching a live video. What's Gina's question right there? It was, it was in capitals. Just coming in what OS paper you're Using. This is cardstock and it's 65 pound. This is glitter cardstock. This was sent to me by a subscriber. Isn't that pretty? So I used glitter for one of them. Um, now, this is my favorite. I took, let me show you the, do I have it? I don't have any over here. Yeah, I do. Here they are. Okay. This is why I stash these kinds of things. People ask me about stashing stuff. These are Christmas buttons I bought at Michael's for a probably 90% off. And they were red and green. That's all. They were red and green. Those are two colors we use other times in Christmas, right? So I took one of these red buttons and I took some ribbon from my um, stash and I tied a bow on the middle of it. Just ran it through. Okay. And now it's going to go right there because I think I love buttons and rosettes. You do you. You might like, I don't know, doilies and rosettes or who knows. Um, I stash only certain things anymore. I only stash things I will use all the time. So I'm just gluing this on. I'm going to hold this down. Um, is that a question? I hate to override yeah, you. I just thought. Where did you get your pack of dowels? I buy my dowels at Walmart because that's where I shop because we have one here. But I know Michaels has them. Um, you can even buy them individually. Like you can buy just a one big long one and cut it off as you need to. But I got these at Walmart. Now the, the um, barbecue skewers, you can get those in the kitchen section of most stores. Chelsea asked about the weather. Really bad. Rain and raining. Would y'all believe we decided to take a vacation this weekend? Hey, but we're going to the lake. We are. We also have some stuff to tell you guys about that. There is a chance there will be no Vinny's Vittle this weekend. There is a chance because we're having some, some issues with that. And there is a definite that there won't be a Saturday video from me while this is drying. I'm telling you, I won't be doing a Saturday video because... In order to do that, I would have to come back here tomorrow and film, and I just want to take a, a little break. So I'm going to do my Sunday video. You'll get the Sunday video, but there won't be a Saturday for me. And if Vince's oven, we brought the oven in, and we had to have a plug put in, but we thought the plug was going to be easy, but you know how construction is never easy, right? But Carpenter Joe is working on it. He's working on it. So, so if we can get it done, chance. there's a chance. We're going to try our best, and hopefully he's going to bring you my very favorite fast, easy meal. So, okay. Check it out. I think this is adorable. Now, here's the thing. This is gonna be what holds it on my table, okay? I'm gonna poke this in here real quick, but I wanna show you. Um, it's gonna be hard to show you from the side without spilling it. Do you get the gist of it? I'll take pictures. But the thing about this is, this one's really tall because I didn't trim this down at all, okay? So if you wanted some tall ones, you could put them in different heights. Just make a bunch of different ones of them and put them in different heights. But you can also, cut these down. I'm going to show you how I cut them. I take a good pair of scissors. These are great for this. And I like score it all the way around. All the way. Get it good and scored. And you can just keep doing that until it gets very tender in the middle, basically. It gets very weak because you're just cutting kind of a layer at a time. And then you can snap it real easy. Okay? So, here we go. Cute! I think it's adorable. I wish I could lay it down. Let me see how I could. If I could put something in there, hold the rocks. I could lay it down. Would it be not easier just to move your camera? No, because I it's there we go. I'll do it like that. So there it is. You could sit these everywhere around your house for the fourth. And at Christmas time, why can't you do this for Christmas? Right? How cute would these be? Like you could make this for this the star of your tree. I think it'd be adorable. So, um, if you wanted this to be a permanent fixture, maybe you have someone in your life that loves stars, you can put that clear, you know, glue stuff in here and stick it down here. It'd be adorable. Cute for ornaments for your Christmas tree. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, give me a little bit on the blog post because I want to get all the photos. I want to get everything there for you, okay? So, the blog post will be a minute, but once it's done, we will definitely get it um, linked under this video, okay? Yeah, actually, 
If you want to do a Star David, doesn't a Star David have six? Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody correct me. I know somebody will know. It's either six or they're offset, but you can do this and just add more points if you need to. Okay, so if you needed six, you could add another point and you could do that with the whole sheet of paper. Remember how we did the 12 by 12? There, I thought it was six. So you could do it with the whole sheet of paper. Okay. All right, there's the craft project for today. Let's do some across the miles. Because I got to tell y'all, oh my gosh, there's some cute stuff today. So cute. Okay. So here we go. If you're not familiar with Across the Miles, if this is your first time with us, we have this thing where people like you guys, okay, send us cards and things you've made for our Across the Miles. This is so cute. This comes to us from June Franco. I'll pull this out because it is so adorable. When it came in, it was so cute. Rachel opened it and she went like this. Um, how'd she do it? She said, oh, look how cute this is. And I said, that is really cute, Rachel. I said, take the sides and squeeze them. So she squeezed it so the box card could show. Look at this adorable box card. It is so cute. And it says, just wanted to say hi. Yeah, if you send us cards that you make, we have a spot in our store where we hang them for everybody to see them. And this is my colors, if you hadn't noticed. Zebra, all the colors. I love it. I love it. So, so super cute. Thank you so much, June, for this. This is going on the wall. I think it's adorable. All right. Then we have this one, <laughs> which is beautiful. And this one comes from, I'm looking at names, Melody Gingler. There's always a little delay because I'm making sure I don't have addresses in here. But um, on the back, she says, May, May, and crew, thanks for all you do. Blessings, Melody Gingler. I hope I'm saying her name right. Inspiration card. Um, oh, inspiration for the guard was, card was found on Google Images. Guys, this is the cutest thing ever. It says, thankful for you here. And when you open it, it's an easel card. Where's Nioka? Get ready, girl. <laughs> this is your card. I can see you making oh, this yeah, card. This, is, this right here is so Nioka. Yeah, ready for this? Look at this. Oh my goodness. Now here's the cool thing, okay? On the front, this is in the little interactive music book, okay? Do you see this? So cute. And then it lo it locks into place here and I have this little paninner. <laughs> now listen, by the way, any of these cards, did this is kind of the deal. Did you just say paninner? Paninner, it's what it is. Oh my Lord. If you want me to make this or, or the, any of the cards I'll show you today, you let me know in the comments of the video. Let me know if you want to see me make this and I'll be glad to do it. I actually have a punch that'll do this. I used to not have one, but now I do. This is adorable. I would love to do this for you guys. So she wrote us the sweetest <laughs> letter, the sweetest letter. I'm not going to read. It's very sweet and personal, but she's very thankful for our diabetes research um, fundraiser we're doing because diabetes has been very, um, very personal for her in her life. So that's very awesome. And she wrote us a letter telling us that. And I love it. A lot of people it. want you to make that in the box card. I do not doubt it because I think that's amazing. Now this card comes to us from KL, ah, the name will be on the inside. That's just initials. Let me look on the inside. Hold on a second. From <laughs> Kitty Piazza. That's a cute name, Piazza. I bet I said it way wrong. Look at this little card. Here's what I love about what Kitty did. I'm gonna scoot in just a little bit so y'all can see it a little better. Okay, look. She embossed hello from Big Time Sayings. She embossed from, from Action. This one's from the Action stamp set. And then she used stickers. So hello from Detroit, the Wolverine State, Michigan. Cool, right? I love to mix stickers. I think this is brilliant, right? And then I'm gonna open up the inside and she says, you inspire me, thank you. Isn't that adorable? Love this. So use stickers, use them to your advantage. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, this one comes from Kristen Dewar. We had a lot this week. So many. You guys are going to want to see this card. I just know it. And actually, I want to make it. It's so heavy and nice. I love a nice, heavy one like this, right? So, this one has a pull out here. Well, the range back. Yeah, I hear it. And it looks like what she did here was she printed this on the printer and then cut this out. This is Luke 638. And she put from the King James Version, which I like. I like when we have the little translation there. At the back is just pretty to look at, right? Cute. Then, when you pull this out, what, did the, was, what was the back again? Just, it's um, paper. It has words on it. Inspire, create, share, life, hello, donka, you, like stuff like that. And we'll put this one back in. That's cool. Then we have another stamp here that she colored. She also colored the stamp on the front, right? So cute. Then, 
it opens up on the inside. There's a sweet little note, a big thank you over here. This is from Kristen. I hope I said Kristen right. I love this card. So just tell me, I know you'll want it. This one is the pocket card. We'll call it the pocket card. Then we're not done. I have so many this time. Debbie, <laughs> is this Debbie's? No, hold on. Um, hold on, here we go. <laughs> All right, this card says happy Father's Day. So who do you think this one's for? You haven't seen it yet. Are you ready for the inside? Yeah. Check it out. Oh, cool. It's so cute. She used the truck from memory lane. She put gold all over it. That's super cute. This is You Are Awesome from um, Father's Day set. This sign is from Apple of My Eye. She wrote Vinny's Vittles on there. She said, um, Vinny, uh, good blessings in starting up Vinny's Vittles again. And here she put, you're a step above the rest. That's from oh, Father's Day. what a guy. Uh, we will all enjoy it sincerely and this is from melinda haupt right Thank you, melinda yep it's awesome and here she wrote hand wrote a scripture i gotta tell something this touched my heart when she hand wrote a scripture i think that's super sweet i love that she did that in there so love this card if you want to see that one let me know then we have one more this one is from debbie let me see this is a beautiful card look at this red and black and white you don't have to send me those colors, but I'm pretty drawn to them. <laughs> so it says, thanks for your kindness. And then on the inside, she wrote us a sweet note. And Debbie actually visited us um, the day before open house. She was from Kentucky. So isn't that cool? Love it. This is beautiful. And um, she said she said thank you for showing her around the store with her, um, was it her niece? Her daughter-in-law. And then here she said she saw the, this is cute. I'm going to read this to you. It says, P.S. I saw the YouTube video before open house. So fun to see where I signed your wall. My family says I'm famous. LOL. <laughs> there you go. That's the Across the Miles. So when you really, come to visit, you get to sign the wall in Vinny's kitchen to say you were here. Really beautiful stuff. Really beautiful stuff made by you guys. And now then, you can leave at any time. Remember this, guys. You know I don't hold you. That's why we do the craft first. We have some new product in the store that I forgot to show y'all yesterday, and I forgot to show you in the original, in that video the other day, so I'm just going to run through it super fast. So just so you'll know, Vinny went crazy with embossing folders. He's, he's gotten real confident with person embossing folders. Look at this stripe. Cool, right? This one is like the mini ones that you can do a saying with. This one says, congratulations to you just for you and thank you so much. Can you imagine embossing this and then ink dragon and using this as your sentiment for your cards? Too cute. I thought that was pretty cool. It is. These are patterns. Imagine ink dragging on those. You've really gotten brave with this. Fun. Well, I mean, I just thought the borders were pretty cool looking. Now, I did say I wanted this one. Look at this cool geometric dude. It's cool. So I thought that would be great for all kinds of backgrounds. Then here's some more borders, which is so cool. We needed those. And more borders. Look at these. Floral. And this is like, um, this would be so cute with our new set, which is called what? <laughs> What's the stitch set called? Sim stitch Sentiments. Stitch. Yeah. It would be cute with that set. So there's those. Those are available for you. I'm doing this quick. I don't want to keep you all day. We've already been going. Oh, we're not doing bad. It's only 42 minutes. All right. I picked up some of these illustrated faith stamps. I get a lot of emails about these guys that you guys want them, okay? Um, I'm a little too zoomed in. But anyway, let's start here. This set, I'm not going to open it because it does. I don't own it, okay? This is a set from the store. This is the books of the Bible. They call it, they call it books of the Bible, and it's basics. I think, it, I think they're all basics. But this is two sheets in here, okay? So don't think this is one sheet. You get two full sheets and the numbers are in there and the Old Testament, New Testament are in there. So everything you need is in there. That's super cool. And this is great for Bible journaling because it's small, okay? So there's that one. This one is, these are all really around Bible journaling. Um, these are not photopolymer stamps. These are a silicone or an acrylic. I wish they said. I never know for sure, but they are, um, that just means don't press these down, okay? Just stamp them and stop. Don't press them. If you press them, they'll squish, okay? And I do have, thank you, I do have some beginner stamping videos that teach you the difference in the stamps and how to stamp them. Check this one out. This is so cute. Y'all know, that's my, that's my eyeglasses right there. And that is how I listened to music back in the day. <laughs> we didn't listen to it the way we do now. I had this dude. Fast forward and rewind. Remember that? Yeah, I was an adult then. <laughs> Look at this. This is so <laughs> cute. My Bible brings me joy is cute. They're all really cute. When I was no, kid, these don't smell bad. Radio. I'm going to slide this one open and smell it. Nope, these don't smell bad. Um, 
And then this is the other one called Seeds of Faith. This is so cute. Something I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I really like this. On the back of here, it says a percentage of sales from this product will be donated. I don't know to who, but that's nice. It says that about their products. And then this dude. A lot of you guys have mentioned getting this to me. The reason I have not jumped on this is because I don't actually um, journal in my Bible. You know, I have a separate book that I journal in and I do my Bible journaling in. But this is cool if you have a Bible. What you do is you put this, if you have a Bible, if you journal in your Bible, you put this between the pages. So if you're doing some multimedia stuff and you don't want it to bleed through, this will keep that from happening. And also, if you're trying to do some lettering on the side of your page, it gives you a ruler to kind of help you to keep you centered or where you want to be. And as a bonus, over here they have a bunch of little crosses cut out and this is a stencil right? So if you do this kind of thing, like in your Bible you and see stuff, the on the if I bring it up real close, you see the little stencil running down the side. So we only got a very few of these. Okay. And if they sell out, I'll bring more in. We got a very few. So if you want this, grab them. These are because Emily wanted them, by the way. She was like, I want that. So you guys let me know if there's products you want. We'll do our best. She said earlier that we didn't need to let Joe hang around here all day unless he was buying her stuff. Well, he already did. <laughs> he already bought her some. All right. So that's it guys that is your video for today we did a lot these are back in stock someone handed me these these are back in stock if you were looking for these they're super cute i've got to do something with this i'm super excited i might do i don't know i got to i love that one did i forget anything because yesterday i walked out of here and i was like i forgot to show the new product all right let's do questions real quick and somebody then... said their wallet was crying <laughs> after this week of new stuff <laughs> it's funny all right let me give you the lowdown for the weekend for videos, okay? I'm not going to have a Saturday noon video. No stamping Saturday video. I also want to talk to you guys about something. I think I want to change the theme of Saturday's video. It worked really well for us before we were doing the live shows, but now we're doing two live shows, and I have to do projects I can complete in 30 minutes or close to it. So some projects you guys are asking me to do take longer and I need to do that in video form. So what I'd like to do is call Saturday like something Saturday. And then if we, you know, whatever I need to do, I'll use Saturday for that to fill in your request. Because some things need to be edited down because I need to do a lot of stuff, right? So if you guys don't, if you don't have a problem with that, I think I'm just going to take Saturday and make it something Saturday and just do whatever videos need to be done on Saturday. Um, and you'll still get the same video. I mean, you still get them, but that way I can edit some if you need them edited. Also, we may, we probably will have a Vinnie's Vittles. We may not. This depends, really. If we can get the cord fixed, if we can get everything to work out. If not, we're not going to come back and film on Friday. We're going to go and have a good time. If you're looking for me this weekend, I'm hopefully going to be off of social media. Not really hopefully, but I don't think I'll be on social media much because where we're at, Yes, we do work 24-7, Laura. Yeah, it Actually, really we feels do. like we do. Um, so, probably won't be able to get us for the weekend. However, the crew will be here. So, if you need a call, email, anything, the crew will be here. Okay? And they'll still be shipping packages as long as the post office makes it around. So, but you guys need to be praying for um, all of the areas affected by Tropical Storm Cindy. Um, today is supposed to be really, really bad in Alabama as far as the the rain and possible tornadoes and stuff like that. Um, and we've already had a tremendous amount of, amount of rain, so flash flooding is gonna be a real issue. Uh, I saw in Mobile where they've had to close a lot of the main thoroughfares because of water. Um, so you guys just be in prayer for the state uh, and for you know Louisiana and all that where that's also being impacted. Scroll back, there were some questions we missed. I wanna make sure we get them because I called for questions and they ask them. Let's try to make sure we answer everything. Uh, Thank you, guys. Raylan asked, where is the store located? We are in Verbena, Alabama. If you go to our website, maymaymadeit.com, all that information is there for you. I'll tell you something. Living in the South, when I walked outside a few minutes ago, I was like, this is this feels like tornado weather. It does. I'm just going to be honest. July 1st is a Saturday, actually, so we probably will not be here. Actually, that's not true. I spoke to somebody. Okay. <laughs> I spoke to somebody who's coming through town. They're going on vacation and they're coming by and they ask if they could let us know when they were coming that if we would meet them. Ashley so we're meeting. She says she's going to PCB for vacation and she wanted to stop and see she, us. Someone called yesterday and I said that we will be 
if she'll give us a warning, we will come by because I'm not going to let somebody get that close and not. If I'm not out of town, that's crazy. I'm not going to do that to you. Um, let's see. We did have a question asked about, um, where is it at? Um, a question about the year special stamp set. Yes, it's being mailed out now as we speak. I know it seems like we should be able to just push a button and send those out. That's not how it works. Let me tell you how it works. It's literally Amanda going through reports and seeing who has paid for 12 months. Like even she has to go back to everyone and see if you've paid consecutively for 12 months and if you, you know, if you've earned the stamp or whatever. So she has literally taken month by month and doing that. And then she has a report that she populates and then she prints out labels and she does it all by herself. So that's not something we can it's just a push very, a button. A very time consuming. It's extremely endeavor. time consuming. And so we have been trying to make it easier. And in doing that, we're learning some new processes. And so that slowed us down a little more, but you have earned it and you will get it. Now, I want to make sure I tell you guys, we never say like the exact, like you're not going to get it the second that you hit your 12 month, but you'll get it as soon as she, I mean, she got, y'all have no idea. Like she's literally taken the first month we started and everybody that signed up there and check in and blah, blah. There's just no easy way to do it. I wish there was, I wish there was, but you'll get it. And if, and here's something, if you want to do this, she has no problem with this. If you know you've been a member for 12 months and you want to send her a message and she'll look at yours real quick and if you guys want to do that, that's fine. She just told you to email her at, um, put your email up, Amanda, because I don't know which one you put up she there. She did. Did she put Amanda? Mm -hmm. Amanda at May May Made It. So she's going to get them out. That is, she's been in her office, locked in her office for days. This is another reason that we ask you guys, if you have a question about other things like orders or product or videos or things like that, that's another reason we ask you to either use the info at maymaymadeit.com or the chat that's live on our uh, website from nine to two every day. That way Amanda can stay locked in her office and she's getting her stuff done. Plus she has to do a ton for me. Amanda is always doing something that I'm like, Amanda. I'm actually like, Amanda. <laughs> I cannot believe you did that to her. She don't care about that one. I wouldn't do what she cared about. Oh. She knows me better than that. All right. Was Charlotte there any more said, I would like to pay in a one-time charge like a subscription. I don't understand. You Should can you do that. Pay an annual? Yes, you can do that. Now, if you do that now, you still don't get your exclusive set till the year is up because they don't get they don't even get designed and printed until the following year. It, especially if you've earned the other one already. If you haven't earned the other one already, you can get that one. But yes, we have several people who pay for um who pay for a, a year. year at a time. Mm -hmm. They pay for a year at a time and then we just send it to them every month. You can't get like 12 in a bunch cuz they're not they're not designed yet. So, yeah, you have to call, thanks Amanda. You have to call us or email us or contact us so we can do that for you by hand. It's not in the system. Yes, there's a year set for both clubs for every year. Okay? We have other like if you if you were one for 12 months, then there's another one coming and another one coming. We've thought about changing the incentive for you guys to give you a different incentive, which I'm we're still talking about because I don't mind giving you that extra stamp set and that's $13 a year that you're earning. But it is hard to keep up with that. So it's like, um, well, I mean, the second year is, never mind. <laughs> All, there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Like, yes, it is in the, it's in the works. But anyway, there's a lot of other things we're talking about that I think you would like better. So, yeah. Melinda just popped in. She said she Melinda was out. Yep. Melinda, I showed your card and it's so cute. Hold on, where'd it go? Where'd I put it? Is that the box card? No. <laughs> you know where I looked for that one. I thought I did Melinda's very, very first. Did I? Which one was it? Oh, well. I showed it, so watch the playback. I'm not going to dig through there. I put them in a pile already. If I pay for a year, will I get January, February, March? No. If you pay for a year in advance, like if you, if you paid for a year in advance today, your first stamp set would come out next month, okay? And every month one would be sent to you, but you would have been, you've, you've paid in advance. But these sets, like a lot of people don't understand this. These stamp sets are designed fresh and new. They, they're not something, we're not pulling a stamp set off of the shelf and sending you. The, every month it's a new set that's never been seen before. So you can't, you can't get 12 in advance because they're not available yet. So, 
Do we need to talk about... Susan says, I want to thank everyone who works for, for with Maymay and Vinny for your hard work and always being so helpful. That means a lot to us. They work so hard. Do we need to mention the water damage in our supplier or not? No, not yet. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right, so looks like we got some tornado warnings around us. God has been awesome and continues to be awesome and always has been for me. He's amazing and we love him very, very much. When do you think you'll have a Halloween stamp set? I'm not, you know what? I got to be honest with y'all. If you're looking for a Halloween set for me, you're probably not going to get like a real Halloween set. Like I do, I have one that's pretty much on the verge of Halloween, you know, but I don't do Halloween and it doesn't, it doesn't spark me. Like I was talking to Rachel today and she was so cute. She's like, you know, the stamps you do are kind of like, they're kind of a picture of you. You know, they're kind of the things you like and they're, kind, you know, not only what I like, I also do what people ask me to do too, but I'm not into Halloween. It's not my holiday. Now I do like, um, fall and I do like treats and things like that. So if you want Halloween sets, don't hold your breath for me. That's a good thing. Cause I don't want you to be like, I'm gonna wait on mayonnaise. Nope. Ask me that stuff. So that way you can go, no, I'm gonna spend my money somewhere else. Cause other people make really cute sets y'all. Other people make really cute Halloween stuff. So, um, Oh, thank you, Jennifer. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, thank you so much. What do I like best? Charlotte said, what do I like best? I, you know, for me, I like good sentiment stamps best because I like to let the paper do the work. Like I showed in the video yesterday. So I feel like the better my sentiment sets are, the better I can do. And also, I like to pull in things like um, like this card where she brought in like stickers and stuff. I love a good sentiment set. I don't know. That's just me. But I'm trying to get away from that. And by the way, we're working with a um we're working with a new graphic designer. You guys are gonna love. I'll tell you about that later. But um, because we haven't released a set yet, but I'm working with a new graphic designer and she's really good at images and stuff because that speaks to her. So I think her flair for images and my flair for sentiment, I think we'll be good um together. <laughs> Okay, I'm having cup of soup flashbacks. He loves when I do things like that. It's so funny. You know what I'm talking about? Cup yes. of soup. Did you say you don't sell Halloween? No. We have one set that's pretty much Halloween. It's called Country Pumpkin. That's about the one I have. I don't do scrapbooks, Amy. I don't, that's never spoken to me. Like, never, ever have I done scrapbooks. You know, probably stems from the house fire, but I'm real bad about photos now. If I take a picture, I just leave it on social media. Like, or I leave it in a, on my computer or something because we lost every photo we had in a house fire. And I told somebody this other day, and if you've ever had a house fire, I bet you a house fire. If you ever had a house fire, I bet you'll agree with me about this. I feel guilty now holding on to stuff from my younger boys and things like that because I don't have my older boy stuff, if that makes sense. So that's probably why I don't do so much of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Emily, I love Dropbox. Yes, ma'am. I love Dropbox and I love... Just going back through my like social media feeds. Because, you know, you can print those things off. You can save them and print them. Uh, so, yep. I think just that happened to me because of the house fire. Like, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't save as much stuff. All right, it looks like our children are trying to find us making phone calls. So, we're going to have to run. So, oh, farmhouse style would be cute. Oh, I'm working on a Southern stay -in. You know, I have so many of them in the works, but I get to a point where I don't have enough and I have to, I'm waiting on those fillers to come to my brain. So I'm, ask, I'm glad you asked Creative Tam Tamara. There will not be Bible study tonight. I posted on the heart group, but the reason for that is we're going out of town and we don't have Wi-Fi at the cabin we're staying in. So we won't be able to do that there. BA, you're the second person to ask me if we could do vertical sentiments. I will work on that. That's the second person to ask me. So yes. Um, an easy beginner Bible that makes sense, in my opinion, is the NIV. He didn't oil that door, y'all. It's the NIV, the New International Version. But if you can afford it, get a parallel Bible. Get you one that's King James on one side and NIV on the other so you can compare them back and forth, okay? Thank you, guys. I'm going to run. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Thank you for letting me open the... Uh, my plaque with you. I'm going to go hang that now. I might get Joe to do it because he's here. I hear him in there working. <laughs> I might get Carpenter Joe to hang my plaque. All right, guys. Love you very much. And we will see you guys on Tuesday for a live show. Um, hopefully Saturday with Vinny, but I'm not sure yet. We'll try. If we're not there, don't worry. It's just because we're on vacation. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.